Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. An update on the Nagisa Trout situation. Nagisa Trout, if you remember, on October 11th, I covered this the day he did it. So this is more of an update. I covered it the day that he decided to in indefinitely suspend the things that were going on. They recently came out, Speciale recently came out in August. So this is their, their JP, um, JP group. Their JP like bakery, Italian bakery type of place uh, that they had. And he mentioned his course on October 11th that he was doing an indefinite suspension. Uh, I says, thank you for your support. Nagisa Trout said an announcement, but we have decided to suspend our activities indefinitely. I apologize for the sudden announcement. We'll be happy if you could wait till I get back. We were waiting for that time, but instead of him coming back fully, he has said that he has suspended memberships. This is something new. Apologize for posting later during the hiatus. My membership will be temporarily suspended from Thursday, October 17th. Sorry for the sudden post. So things have gotten more serious. As I said in the first video that I did on October 11th, the one that had Shy Lily in there as well, that one, I said it could be a family situation. It could be a very serious situation, either health-wise or otherwise, that is preventing him from being there. I do not think this is a stealth suspension. It could very well be a stealth suspension, um, but we don't know. We don't know. All we know is that it's very rare for the memberships to be suspended. Uh, this is the person thinking, I'm not coming back. And the issue, the reason why this is kind of like, hmm, I'm wondering, is because, if you remember, Kunai from EN suspended their memberships before they ended up, you know, leaving uh, Nidhi Sanji. So a lot of people are speculating now this could be uh, graduation. This could be that they're just waiting out, but they just got there. So that's the issue. I don't think it'd be graduation this soon. Maybe termination. Who knows? Uh, graduation this soon. It's not even going to be a year. It's only a couple of months. It's very hard for them to graduate this quickly. Kunai at least had a year. When she, by the time she was starting to think about doing that, and when she graduated, she'd already been there for close to a year or a year already. This is very soon, so I think it's more health-related. Might even be a stealth suspension. We don't know. For those of you who may or may not have heard about this recently, Twitter is making big changes to their platform, to everything. Uh, Elon Musk, the owner of Twi Twitter right now, has said in the past that he's going to remove the block function. What he means by removing the block function is that now people that you have blocked, they won't be able to follow you anymore. I mean, it still won't be able to follow you, but they'll be able to see what you do. For some people who have had harassers, who have had doxers, like myself, who's, who's been doxed by people on Twitter and stuff like that, um, it is scary to have this happen because I've been harassed. I've been, you know, doxed, like I mentioned. I've been uh, mistreated on Twitter and I have those people blocked. I block, I rarely block people and I block people because of reasons like that. And uh, right now we're talking about Sayu. And that's why I wanted to give you guys an idea of what was going on before we talked about it fully. Uh, Wayu, or Sayu, didn't deserve to be insulted like this over the smallest things. So I'm actually so sad hearing about the changes to the block feature here. There are a lot of people who used to harass me over any little thing that I say or do on things completely unrelated to content creating, even. And I'm just very disappointed, angry, and I don't want to deal with all of that again. I can absolutely understand that. There have already been a lot of people that have been leaving to places like Blue Sky and other places like that because of this and another thing that I'll mention in another part of the video. But this is one of those big things. It says because he got blocked by so many people and couldn't handle not seeing their comments, he's doing this change. It's just before the likes all over again. What a piece piece of, you know, S. Like effing hell. Because of him, now people's like Sayu will keep getting unfairly targeted and harassed because of this stupid change. Even if she blocks it, it makes no difference. Why didn't he just make another account? His ego? Yeah, it's all Elon Musk's ego, honestly. Elon Musk has been blocked by like millions of people. Quite literally, millions of people on Twitter have blocked him because he just says the dumbest things. He says the craziest things. He says he's just a big ego. He has a big ego. Everyone thought he was like an amazing like innovator and everything like that. No, he hires the right people and he has a huge ego. Uh, it's like Elon Musk just ruins everything he touches and people still think he's Tony Stark. He's not Tony Stark, not at all. He, the thought never crossed my mind. I literally never saw him in the same room. Every time a man baby gets criticized, there's some weird idiot defending his butt and his ego more fragile than a, a frozen soap bubble. He can't accept that there are people who dislike him. He wants to be liked, but it's hard for a rotten turd sandwich. Uh, Elon Musk, weird uh, nerds, valid criticism. Yeah, he gets a lot of valid criticism and he gets hated. Uh, uh, and the criticism gets hated by the 
uh, Elon Musk defenders. And uh, you'll have here, and it's just unfortunate that Sayu is now going to have to suffer for that. A lot of the big creators who have had a lot of harassment are going to have to suffer for that. Uh, even small creators like myself that have a ton of harassment behind them are going to be suffering as well. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but uh, right now we're talking about Sayu, so hopefully she can find some solace somewhere in blue sky or other places vtubers are leaving all of twitter a lot of them are making now blue sky accounts which is the one created by jack dorsey the one who used to be owner of twitter now it's elon musk they're making a lot of different changes according to blue sky themselves they've already hit over half a million new uh people new accounts into their uh, social media platform when half a million people leave you know you messed up vtubers are one of the big ones of course this is the, the people that i focus on we have camilla who's leaving we have sayu made this eight months ago but it's looking more like it's time to care more uh you have zentrea who also made one you have Victoria the sun eater who's also a lot of indies have gone up there and some corpos as you mentioned with you know as i mentioned before with zentrea there are corporate accounts like v shoujo that are going there uh i don't think you know hollow life and all those others will be there because you know their large corporate accounts they probably will have it there as well so look for all of your favorite vtubers on blue sky now because a lot of them are going to be giving up fully on twitter although i don't recommend it because twitter does still have a lot of reach just there you're not going to see any kind of announcements with pictures most likely you have more people sticks kyo is leaving mira is leaving mira is also another big semi big youtuber you have yuna as well that's leaving um they have uh kaisune some smaller vtubers some big ones like ant it, it's just a regular individual Who's small ants who's pretty darn big as you can see here 240k they're moving to blue sky at the very least until things change they say they're moving to blue sky you have pp slayer who's also a big one well, at least one that's that's known very well they're also going to blue sky you have um a lot of people bunny celeste miyu zaria mako or mako snowy big and small they're all leaving coley you can see just like these are all just names. Snokichi, you may know some of them. You may not know some of them. Uh, I think also Teo is leaving there. Um, that was a different post for him. But uh, if I remember Teo, I just remember the people off the top of my head. Uh, people recommend reminding you that there are people out there. There are ways of connecting both Blue Sky to Twitter for the people that kind of stuff like that. People are also putting their handles in here. All these people here as well. Big, small, a lot of them very small, a lot of them bigger are already moving to blue sky as you can see here a lot of them have been moving to blue sky and that is very bad for twitch twitter twitter it's very bad for twitter it's very bad for them overall it's very big papa lemon is another one that's moving there they are uh growing as well but they have decided to move as well miyochi uh strawby which is the wife of um rev says desu fifi is leaving uh Miko as well this Miko scrub is leaving vanilla beans and praise the moon among others it is a huge VTuber exodus. They're all giving up on Twitter, at least for now, when it comes to anything art related because of the AI stuff, the block feature that's being removed, all that kind of stuff. It allows for more harassment, more crazy stuff going on. So a lot of people have decided, screw this, I'm out. I'm going to the competitor Blue Sky. And uh, Blue Sky has gotten a lot of new publicity from this. We all know that everyone deserves some happiness for their birthday. Everyone deserves some happiness for the day that they were born. Uh, but Nidhi Sanji is really bad with this stuff. Of course, I will give a caveat here. The reason why they have this merch that is the same for 2023 versus 2024 versus, you know, any new stuff here, all the same kind of stuff is because like you have the goods and voice here, you have this again, and then you have here this again. It's easy to sell these things. It's quick to make easy to make they already have their suppliers and they already have their people who can make it for pennies on the dollar they'll sell it for five six bucks and it'll cost them 50 cents or even less to make each and that's why they're easy to produce they're easy to make i as an indie vtuber will probably be using these types of things as well but here's the difference i'm an indie vtuber i really have to minimize the cost for what i have out there because of the fact that hell like even a hundred bucks is a lot for me right now to spend on making merch for you guys and things like that so that's why my merch has taken a while to actually come out because i have to make it myself i'm not big enough to have Ooh market or other people on on there so i have to look out and be careful and you know make sure that i am doing things right and uh nidhi sanji shouldn't do that but also that's just being fair hollow life has this type of merch too because it's easy to sell it's quick people will buy it's a guaranteed buy by your fans if you have fans it's almost guaranteed that they're going to buy it from you 
So that's why they do that. It's cookie cutter merch. It's people pointed that one out before. It's cheaper to produce and can absolutely trust that Niji will do it every single time. Why waste money on this? Uh, well, you can buy Ina's cookie cutters. This close to why waste money on this cookie cutter merch when you can buy actual cookie cutters. A uh, unique item is a voice pack. Never bought any of the merch, but I also like looking at the art. And there's birthday illustrations are really cute. And that's the thing. They're, they're illustrations. They, whoever illustrates these things are, are good. Like, that's cute illustration there. Very cute. This one's very cute here. And this one as well is a cute illustration. It sucks that the person that, that is, is behind it has foot and mouth moments. But, you know, just being a uh, human in the way I'm seeing things. Yes, it is good that they have it. But holy crap, man. You could at least try to be creative occasionally uh, on Niji Sanji's side. At least try to be creative occasionally. Okayu, the wonderful cat VTuber from Hollow Live JP, is getting a visual novel. The same developers of the visual novel of Aqua before she left. She's having her, she was, you know, announcing it. She fully announced it. It is the one that did Aquarium. She's uh, Nekomato Kayu from Hollow Live Okanyumu. It's going to be from Entergram, the people who did Aquarium, which was the Aqua visual novel. Uh, the production announcement has been decided that Okayo New will be starring and supervised by them. It will be produced. The teaser site will be released tomorrow, 11 a.m. So please look forward to it. It'll be released at 11 a.m. It's probably released by the time you watch this. Um, and she announced it herself. Nekomato Okayo's novel game, Okayo New, production decision with Entergram. I will do my best as the lead actor and supervisor. And that is, you know, she's supervising everything. Of course, people are congratulating her for this. And we'll see what people think on the Hololive subreddit. It says, Aqua at home still signing her merch. I felt a great disturbance in the force. She'll probably be first in line for the release. This year, the year is 2035. Aqua still signing her merch, having never actually left the company despite leaving the company. <laughs> yeah, poor Aqua. Signing her merch is going to be a thing she's going to be doing for a while. Because uh, she has a lot of things she needs to sign. A lot of people have bought the merch. Especially the ones that have bought the limited edition, which the limited editions usually have the full signed one, not the reproduction of the signed one. I don't know how they protect the signatures. I honestly don't know how they protect them, but they find a way. The website for the game will be open October 24th. Uh, should we feel scared? Okayu power is very high. Finally, going into H territory, ne ne Neko Kayu. Really hope they will have English subs from the start this time. I have and love the limited edition of Aqua's Aquarium that received English subs later on for the PC release only. If when this one receives subs, it'll be an instant buy for me. The, the world is not ready for this yet. No one's ready for this. And of course, the links as I have shown here before. Great news for the cat it's also i mean i love this cat this cat is awesome this cat is, is one of the great ones and because she's just relaxed she's just a relaxed chill atmosphere not trying to be super high energy just for the sake of being super high energy she's just herself and she has been loved by many because she is herself she's okay hollow live and in this case korone just keep on winning what i mean by keep on winning well korone has been dubbed the honda racing uh ambassador pretty much. Uh, Racing Korone was unveiled. The Korone next appearance will be on September on the Super Taikyu Race in Okayama, which will be held on October 26th and 27th. If you'd like, please go and support us. And here you have the Racing Doggo from Honda Team. It says Honda Racing EMS Ambassadors in action. Also announcement about that. Let's watch the location to do together too. Here's her on location. <laughs> and there goes the racing car outside. I think this is like the, the lower GT Cups. It's not like GT3 or anything like that. It's more like the regular Honda Cup racing and that type of thing. Going through the, the laps. This is, of course, a new Civic Type R, I believe. <laughs> so yeah just having lots of fun she's having tons of fun with this and i'm glad that she is uh here we go with more stuff honda racing ems ambassador makes the moves there'll be an announcement about that too please watch the location shooting together we have right here as well honda racing ems newly drawn in the station release take a look at the racing version of korone and there we have it with the fluffy tail well actually she looks kind of scared with the tail looking there but um 
Corona, of course, doing the amazing things that she always does. And I'm glad that a place like Hololive can do that for their talents. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to showcase up and coming VTubers, VTubers of all sizes, people who want to show themselves and be out there in this large ocean of VTubing. It, today, it's going to be Salem. Salem works VT. Miners do not in, engage, do not interact. Let me have a nibble. They are a, let's see what they actually call themselves, Batgirl Succubus. I didn't want to, I did look like a succubus, but I didn't want to incorrectly name it. So a Batgirl Succubus that just wants to take a bite out of you. Also the best thighs you'll ever lay your head on. Welcome my loves, I'm a very variety streamer here to entertain all of you. About me, tirelessly self-taught freelance artist that's making the jump into doing this full time. Exciting to have you guys on for the journey uh, with me as I work on commissions and things I have on my store. Any support you can provide is much appreciated. I have two very large polar bear doggos that I have to feed. Model, design, rigging, emotes, overlays were all done by yours truly. Wow, very nice. Editing done by other people for the channel, trailer, etc. Let's take a look at any videos that they may have available. For that. Oh, you're talking to Auntie Ethel? Yeah. yeah. Get the free shit. Actually, you I am. by the, uh, the giant strength. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Why, you want giant Carlac? <laughs> 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 yeah, you want you want to stick your head in in those giant thighs. Death, death by snoo snoo. <laughs> the Futurama reference. The Futurama reference. The death by snoo snoo. They're all happy. They were in the Amazon world, and that happened. So once again, thank you for allowing me, uh, Salem Works VT, for allowing me to showcase you on my channel. I hope this gets you more uh, eyes, and hopefully, it at the very least gets you out there and helps you grow a little bit, at least. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.